Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your first gameplay and overview of the Frusha IFV. This is a currently rank 7 battle rating 10.0 light tank in the Italian ground tech tree and will sit just below the VCC 8030 when it's released. Bear in mind, this is from La Royale dev server, so anything that is currently on this vehicle is subject to change before and even through release on the live server, so you have to bear that in mind. Very, very important. Now, you might might be wondering to yourself wait tank inside this has a 25 millimeter cannon and it can only put out eh, 90 or so millimeters of armor pen at very best why is this 10.0 br well i'll tell you why this has spike atgms that's right spike atgms are finally in war thunder and they are coming with the Frusia IFV. Barring them not being released with this, we have seen it where I believe, what was it? The R73, I think it is, or the R72 that was originally supposed to come with the MiG-29. That was actually not released with the game, even though you could test drive it. In the dev server, in like the first day or two of that dev server, this will likely come into War Thunder, but you never know. It might not upon release if they deem it to be too powerful. So that being said, let's get into a match or two. I want to take this actually into a test drive first just to show you exactly what these spike missiles can do in an sterile environment because ultimately the spike missiles have a top attack feature essentially and well i'll just show you this now so that said let's get into it so just to kind of show you guys right off the bat i want to show you this thing in in sam mode so sam mode so it's not going to be nearly as effective they only have around what is that a I don't even know what the range is 20 oh 20 kilometer range <laughs> so they do have a pretty good range but they also don't track all too well unless it's relatively close like this as you can see the first one blew up there this one will hopefully hit it yeah so you kind of have to hit a little bit closer but that's not the main story again the reason why i'm showing you this is because it's in a sterile environment let's go ahead and just put it on this it1 boom as you can see top attack features started working pretty damn quickly and you do have again the target lock so i'm going to lock onto this guy it's only locking onto the side let's see if it'll hit it actually right there in the front perfect let's go for three actually you know what i'm gonna have to wait a few seconds here and okay let's go lock two farther targets because you only have two of these that you can fire at a time before they do have to be reloaded so bear that in mind so i'm going to lock him and lock him and bear in mind again these are things that you can lock pretty much simultaneously and get two kills in a row just like that easy as can be so now we have moving targets or a moving target rather let's go ahead and lock it went over that berm there and that went right through the frontal plate if i'm not mistaken each one of these has been a one shot kill correct so this is <laughs> This thing is just ridiculously nasty. I wonder if it's going to track, actually, being that it just respawned as technically a new vehicle. And it will. Look at that. This thing is hella good. Now, it doesn't have the auto track feature with aircraft, so you're not going to be able to just lock on with the 25 millimeter cannon, unfortunately. So you will still have to kind of use the spike missiles in a way that they're not really meant to be used again they can be used against aircraft they're just not going to be nearly as good as one might hope but let's go ahead and just pull up to the side of this vehicle see if the ap fsds can go through it and yes it can so it's not really that's not going to be your main use of this vehicle it's going to be the atgms the atgms are what is going to make this thing as good as it can be let's do this pretty close range and even close range it does have the ability to lock one more time okay boom right there so you just have to get a decent lock and it will hit even at close range whereas again the qn506 is a bit of a longer range weapon so this can do close medium long range all of that and even go after aircraft so i said let's get into a match test this thing out against actual targets and see how it is let's get into it so right off the bat, obviously, it's pretty mobile. I feel like having wheels, typically, even if you don't have the best power to weight ratio, this is just over, I think, 20 horsepower per ton. Might be something like 21, 22 horsepower per ton. 
which is obviously quite nice, but what it comes down to is that this definitely feels a bit better than um, even that. Oh, we have an enemy. Easy enough kill from the side. Of course, again, dev server, you're going to be fighting a lot of World War II tanks. Hopefully not too big of a deal, but you can at least see how this will perform versus decently armored tanks, uh, you know, being the jumbo. I think that was a jumbo um, that at least has some level of armor on it. More than this does. A nice kill on that Carnarvon. Got a nice kill on that. Now, I really want to go test out the... Uh, whatchamacallit on this. I don't just want to keep going around... Oh, wow. I mean, okay, this is really fun. Don't get me wrong. I, but I want to go test out the spike missiles. Huh. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to have to fire on this guy. Did not hit. And I now have to actually use... This is not good, actually. Okay. Not bad, but one of the things is that, again, you only have two shots before you have to... Um, before you have to reload. And one of the problems is, is that it's not direct fire. So, while it does get its trajectory fairly early, ultimately, it still will take a little bit of time in order to truly, um, you know, be able to get whatever you need. Okay, we have ourselves an actual enemy vehicle over there. So I'm going to see if I can go kill him. It's the big light of Panza. There he is. I'm going to fire on him with the spike. And did not get the kill. Okay. Ugh. Again, that's why it's good. One, to test these things out in a sterile environment like what we have in test drive mode. But also, obviously, to be able to test this out in real matches, because real matches are not the same as in test drive mode, and I had to switch over immediately to those PMB 090s. So while I was getting, like, one-shot kills all over the place in test drive, not quite the same thus far here. Okay, it's a little bit closer. Got him, perfect. See, oh, that's not good. Okay, I think we have a Leopard 2K up by the A point, but I'm going to decap B. And again, one of the other problems with this is that once you fire one, it doesn't start auto-loading, or reloading rather, back into it. You have to fire the second one as well, which really, really sucks. Whew! I'll tell you though, man, these things are nasty. These, uh... APF SDS shells, they are freaking awesome. So I should be able to spot this dude in just a moment here, hopefully. He's right around here, but I have got a feeling he's going to probably kill me. Oh, that might be him. Ooh, this is a slightly longer range, and I didn't get the kill, but it was nice nonetheless. Let's go put... Oh, you know what? That's not good. <laughs> okay. I'm fully... I'm got my okay let's fire another spike on him Ooh, okay <laughs> okay it's not too bad so it does have its uses i think obviously the spike is going to be one of the best missiles if it works right in war thunder that's in my opinion pretty obvious this is a nasty nasty vehicle overall so yeah, I mean, just from a limited, just from a few seconds, I guess, a few minutes with this vehicle, testing out the spike missiles in action, as you can see in the test drive, phenomenal. But in action, there are some issues with it because you're not always going to have that perfect shot on an immobile target. But most of the time, you will either do substantial damage to the enemy or kill them especially if it hits. So this is a really, really nice vehicle and is what people kind of expected the QN506 to be. But either way, thanks so much for watching. Please, of course, consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But either way, thanks again. I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.